uh, to the world of health care, we now switch, because yesterday was a big day. The president said it, uh, we're gonna, and Catherine Sebelius backed him up. Hey, we're going to make the end of November. By the, November 30th, we're going to get things working and working well. And they did cite yesterday a series of improvements when it comes to Obamacare. That's right. And in fact, uh, Kathleen Sebelius is writing in the pages of uh, USA Today today that, you know, when we launched the website, we messed up, but we fixed it. We made a dramatic improvement. Essentially, that is what Jeff Seitz, he's the guy, uh, the director of Office of Management and Budget, who's been brought on board to fix things. There he was. Uh, uh, at, at, at an event, uh, we took a picture of him. Anyway, he was live yesterday doing a conference call where it's interesting. He says the site is fixed, but then again, maybe you should use it when not many people are using the site. Here's Mr. Zeitz. Bottom line, healthcare.gov on December 1st is night and day from where it was on October 1st. Now, to be clear, there likely will be times, even with this increased capacity, that that increased capacity will not be sufficient to handle peak demands. So to prepare for those times when spikes in user volume outstrip the system's expanded capacity, we will deploy a new queuing system to serve consumers in an orderly fashion and to allow consumers to request email notifications when it's a better time to come back to the site. A better time to come back to the site, indeed, <laughs> would have been two months ago or over that. Um, I believe October 1st was when this thing yeah. was supposed to be up and running. Um, certainly there's frustration on the part of many, but, um, you know, with these letters and op-eds and, and conference calls come uh, a, a note to, to Americans that we're out to lunch sign is on the door of the Obamacare website. So we're, they're going to send you a complimentary email to let you know when to, when to log back in. But don't worry, because it also <laughs> said, according to Kathleen Sebelius' op-ed, that you have until... December 23rd to sign right. up for coverage if you want it in 2014 in January. I think, sure. the, I think the, <laughs> the best line of the whole thing that I found most disturbing but yet enlightening was uh, the, this, the website is moving at uh, private sector speed. Yeah. Really? Isn't that the whole goal of this was to turn it over to the private sector to begin with? Wasn't the whole fundamental argument? Also, the Kaiser Family Foundation, this guy Larry Levitt says, all the, look, this guy seems to have done a good job. Jeff Seitz had nothing to do with the launch. He was asked to fix it. He's a management expert. He seems to have, do, have done some, made some improvements. However, there's no way to verify from the outside the vast majority of people who want to enroll can now right. enroll. Isn't right. that fundamentally what we want to know? Can you get through? Can you make a choice? And can you get through on that choice? Sure, exactly right. I mean, when they say it's uh, vastly improved, uh, why don't we see the dashboard? Why, why, why don't we get the metrics? I mean, when they had the conference call yesterday, it had a lot of graphics, but didn't have a lot of uh, verification. It, it'd be great if they could audit it or, or say, you know, this is exactly what's going on. But it, clearly what happened yesterday was yesterday was a political goal. They, they needed, the White House needed to show enough progress had been made so that a number of Democrats who have been sitting on the fence and who have been siding with Republicans, hey, maybe we should delay this thing to give them cover. They got the cover, they think, yesterday, but then at the same time, we saw from uh, our Washington correspondent yesterday, he tried to sign on at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning, which certainly would be off peak, and couldn't do it. Right, Peter Ducey actually tried to get Peter on Peter Ducey could not uh, could get his not. ID verified and so couldn't sign up for couldn't it. Couldn't sign on, but maybe he'll get that email. Yeah, but, you know, maybe. keep an eye on states that are doing things like Connecticut. They're leading the way right now considering um, the option to go out and hire a, a separate company to go ahead and verify, That's to right. your point, Brian, yep. um, because they don't trust the government to do it. They want, the, they want to have the power to protect those in their state. So, uh, so they are actually looking to hire an independent company to do what the government says they should be doing but can't do yet. I saw George Will came out and says, look out. This is, to me, the best uh, soundbite from the Sunday shows. He goes, when those employers decide if they're going to keep their employees on their health care plan, if they decide not to and take any type of fine, you're talking about hundreds, uh, over 100 million people will be out on their own. So now we have problems with the individual market. The corporate market is going to be, could potentially be a catastrophe. And don't forget the Catholic market, market okay? Because we have uh, Cardinal Dolan, who actually said the Catholics, look, they were, they were for coverage for all. Mm -hmm. But now, based on the, uh, the contraception mandate, he's saying that Obamacare is actually isolating Catholics. Take a listen. 
Catholics who are kind of among the pros when it comes to providing health care do it because of our religious conviction and because of the dictates of our conscience and now we're being asked to violate some of those. So that's when we began to worry and draw back and say, Mr. President, please, you're really kind of, uh, you're really kind of pushing aside some of your greatest supporters here. We want to be with you. We want to be strong. And if you keep doing this, we're not going to be able to, to be one of your cheerleaders. Are you and that sadly is what happened. Yeah, you know, and we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks under the Affordable Care Act, which is not so affordable to many. Uh, people are being forced to buy things that they don't need. I mean, uh, do you need maternity coverage at your house? Do you need pediatric? Do you need acupuncture? Stuff like that. It's the same well, thing for the Catholic I'd Church. Like to try. Would you? Yeah. Probably, probably. Uh, you know, the, the Catholic Church. Uh, they support, as Elizabeth said, they support the idea of affordable care but they don't want to pay for birth control. It, it flies in the face of the ba basic tenets of the Catholic Church. And that's All what right. he was talking about. All right, uh, Heather, now, and a lot of people are saying, where is she? The answer is right over here to the right. Good morning, uh, guys. Thanks for tweeting. Good morning. Great to see you. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. You get a few days off, and then it never quite feels like enough. Does right. It? But it's great Good to be to back, back with you. Good morning to you all. A man is dead, and three people are under arrest after a stadium fight at a Kansas City Chiefs game. The victim was sitting in somebody else's truck in the parking lot after the game, and then when the owner of that truck saw him, a fight broke out. The victim then collapsed and died later at the hospital. Where is she? The answer is right over to the right. Good morning, uh, thanks guys. Thanks for tweeting. Great to see you. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. You get a few days off and then it never quite feels like enough. Does right. It? But it's great Good to be to back, back with you. Good morning to you all.